Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm Simon bringing you another Eldritch Moon spoiler. This time we have a real treat, something a lot of players have been asking for for what feels like a very long time. Until now, Wizards of the Coast has refused to print a legendary with a certain creature type. A creature type that's gotten a lot of love and tribal synergies over the years, but still, no commander. This was the tribal absent in EDH. Werewolves. Years have gone by, amazing werewolves were printed, but none were ever given that elusive legendary status. Sure, they still mildly appeared in commander decks, but they were never commanded by a fellow werewolf. Well, those days are finally behind us. Let me introduce you to Ulrich of the Crawlin Horde. This legendary human werewolf is a 4 4 for 3 generic and gruel colors. Whenever this creature enters the battlefield or transforms into Ulrich of the Crowland Horde, target creature gets plus 4 plus 4 until end of turn. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform Ulrich of the Crowland Horde. He then becomes Ulrich, Uncontested Alpha, a 6 6 legendary werewolf. Whenever this creature transforms into Ulrich, Uncontested Alpha, you may have it fight target non werewolf creature you don't control. At the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells last turn, transform Ulrich Uncontested Alpha. Its abilities are kinda tame for a character whose art seems so fierce. As it comes into play or flips back into a human, it gives a titanic growth to a creature. Not bad, but that means he's really dependent on you having other cards on the board. The wording suggests that he can give himself the buff, since it doesn't say other creatures, so at least you can make him an 8-8 for a turn. Yet it's wasted if you use it on himself as he comes into play. As it transforms into a true werewolf, Ulrich gets to fight a creature, and since it has a large 6-6 body, it'll usually win. Fighting is a true mechanic born of the werewolves. We've seen this creature type with similar abilities, and even more non-creature spells with this effect depicting werewolves in its art. It was built for Ulrich. It's kinda odd that its title is Uncontested Alpha, yet it can't fight opponents' werewolves? You'd think Ulrich, you know, wouldn't want to be contested by the opponent's creatures, but hey, whatever. This limitation is small, but it's something to worry about should you ever find yourself in a werewolf mirror match. Personally, I feel like this card is actually a little underwhelming. As I said before, its abilities seem rather tame. You'd think in a block where we've seen the first ever Werewolf Planeswalker and Werewolf Legendary that wizards would go nuts with their abilities, but they've been rather timid. Just look back at the original Innistrad block when werewolves were finally catching steam. Back then, EDH players were still begging for a Legendary and they thought they'd get one in Huntmaster of the Fells. Sadly, this powerful werewolf was printed as a non-legendary, leaving us to compare it with Ulrich. I mean, the two characters even look scarily similar. You can see why some people may see Ulrich as tame when compared to Huntmaster. Sure, Huntmaster's stats are worse, but it's cheaper and had really impactful abilities. It dealt pure damage rather than fighting, gained you life, dealt damage to the opponent, and even summoned 2-2 wolf tokens. So much value in a single card. But here we are, returning to Innistrad and finally getting that werewolf commander we've all been waiting for. And all I feel like saying is, eh, it's alright. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of Ulrich of the Crawlin Horde in the comments below. Especially you commander players out there. Tell me, do you like this legendary werewolf? Regardless, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Eldritch Moon spoilers, news, and lore. Check out my Patreon and social media linked in the description below. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.